Hey everybody. Happy what day is it? It is Wednesday. It is a wonderful Wednesday. Hey, thank you for joining me today, checking out this video. Today we're going to talk a little bit about um, balancing the business and the personal, especially where social media is concerned. Um, I was thinking about just a few minutes ago, I was thinking about a time back when Big Daddy was a chef and my husband was a chef for many, 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 many years. And, um, and the last job he had in a kitchen, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't a good fit. That's, that's what I'm going to say about that. It was not a good fit. Um, and, and my husband is a hard worker. I mean, I think there are many, many, many wonderful things about him, but I think the thing that he is proudest of is that he's a hard worker. He's a reliable guy. He goes above and beyond, above and beyond. And, um, there just there were some situations unfolding and some drama and some politics and stuff like that and um and the ownership and the leadership team let's say sat sat down with him and um began to talk to him the conversation was not going well and it wasn't going in a direction that he was happy about and this guy who had kind of been a notorious jerk for a while <laughs> popped off and said, well, this is a, this is a business decision. This isn't personal. And, uh, that, that sent him, oh, he was really unhappy at that point because, you know, when you are passionate about what you do and work as many hours and as hard and as in the kinds of situations that, you know, he was certainly working in at the time, it was real personal. <laughs> and um, he had put a whole lot of things to the side uh, putting someone else's interest first and, um, and then for them to, you know, treat him badly was, it was just, it was not a great experience. And so I've kind of been just thinking about that. It's not personal idea. Um, a part of what I am doing currently as I am doing some marketing for my business is I'm going to, Facebook pages for my ideal clients and customers and kind of checking out what they're doing, seeing when the last time they were, they posted was seeing what kind of reactions they're getting to what's being shared. And what I am seeing over and over and over again are professional posts that are informational in nature. They use stock photos. Um, they have a quippy little sort of, marketing kind of line at the top and a, a nice graphic below and um and no one is interacting with those things at all at all and the problem with it is that people are being told this is what marketing looks like. This is what professional social media should look like. And this is what you should be doing. And the problem is it doesn't work. It does not work. It's, it's boring. It looks exactly like every other business out there. Um, and I'm talking specifically about trades businesses, but I think it's true for many, many, many uh, different businesses. There are, there are a lot of folks who are trying to make their social media look like everybody else's because obviously everybody else knows what they're doing. I, I see it all the time with um, coaches, uh, business coaches or leadership coaches or social media coaches. They all are posting the same it, in particular, the photos, they have these branding photo shoots and you've seen them too. It's, uh, the gal, what, let's see, hang on, hang on. Let me, let me show you. Okay. She's going to have on a felt hat. She's got, I don't know why she's got on a felt hat in her office. There's going to be, you know, whatever the gold pencils on her desk. And then she's going to be holding her coffee mug 
and um and they but they all take the same photo they take the same photo they're up against a painted wall in the trendy part of town they're wearing the felt hat um they're sitting on the desk you know because that definitely happens a lot in the wild where you know a client comes in and i just am sort of sitting on my desk and it it's baffling to me how what we're trying to do is say hey i'm different than everyone else who does this i need to stand out and yet i'm going to do the exact same thing that others are doing and so i i am specifically right now i've been uh looking at pages for heat and air people and not only are am i seeing the same kinds of posts i'm seeing the exact same posts from company to company and this is in the same town um and so this company is going to have you know the same stuff that this company over here has that this one because it's the same they're hiring the exact same person and and there's not a comment or like on any of those posts not on any of them and so um here's the problem that's that's what happens when you look at this as traditional advertising it's not traditional advertising this is social media it is supposed to be social you are supposed to be interacting you are supposed to be making connections and if you want people to care about your business then share about the people in your business let's say that again if you want people to care about your business share about the people in your business people buy from people i uh was recently I sent a message to one of my clients and was like, I need you to send me photos. And he did only there wasn't a human being in not one photo. <laughs> and, you know, and that's where I get stuck because people buy from people. I need stories. I need, um, I need to know, you know, who's on your team and who's going above and beyond. And, you know, what's, what does great customer service mean for your company? What does that look like? Who's going above and beyond? Who helps somebody for fun and for free? Who's having a birthday? Who just got promoted? You know, those are the things, because I want to work with a company that, that treats their people well, that respects the people who are building their business, who acknowledges that the boots on the ground are the reason we're doing so well. Also, by the way, when you are sharing about the people in your company, you can tag them and all the people they know will see uh, that they are being acknowledged and they will connect the dots because a lot of times, of course, you're going to have on your personal page, it's going to say, I'm Jennifer Kelly, the creative genius behind the elephant sandwich, da, 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 da. but my virtual assistant may not do that. She may not put that up on her page. But if I give her a shout out, everyone that she knows can see, hey, she works for Elephant Sandwich. I know she does good work. And there you go. You, you've made a connection. So people buy from people. It is personal. And one of the things that I, I want to encourage you to do, whether you are working with an agency or whether you're doing your social media yourself, share photos from your real world. Share photos of the dog in your office. Share photos of the birthday celebration. Share photos of somebody in the van. Share, you know, whatever it is, practical jokes, whatever's going on in your office, share some of that. Now, I am certainly not saying that you need to make a live video and say, hey, y'all. Um, my wife and I are divorcing because she was cheating on me and, you know, whatever. Um, I, I tend to be a little more confessional than most and that's okay because I'm, I'm the business. <laughs> I get to do what I want. I do what I want. But, um, but I am saying 
give people something to connect with. One day a week, post something that is out of the office. Um, share about, uh, you know, like I do, the, you know, Big Daddy and I are going to go check out a new barbecue place in Roy City. I'll let you know how it is. You know what that does? That lets you know I'm married. We love barbecue. You can start to make a connection. And I know you don't think that's a big deal, but it is. That's what sort of imprints those, those little tiny connections that you make with people on whatever level. It's kind of the post-it note on their forehead. That's how they remember. And I'll tell you, when I was in a networking group, um, I, I didn't leave the networking group because I didn't like it or that I, because I didn't learn anything or anything like that. Ultimately, my ideal clients and customers weren't in that room. It, it was a lot of individual performers and I need small teams. And so, um, or larger teams, I'm down with that. But, um, but when I was in that networking group, what I liked most about it and the reason I chose to join was that the first part of every conversation when you had a face-to-face -face with somebody from that was tell me a little bit about who you are. What do you do for fun? Tell me about your family and where you're from. And that connection is primary. Secondary is what do you do and how can I help you do it better? Who can I connect you with? Primary is who are you? What do we have that overlaps and that intersects? And as silly as it is, you know, one of the first face-to-faces I did was with a guy that I recommend all the time. We, we are no longer associated through the networking group, and yet I do. I would never hesitate to recommend him. But let me tell you what the first connection was. It wasn't, he's a reputable mortgage lender. He is. <laughs> and ultimately, that's why I tell people to go there. But the reason I still think about him often is that the first time that we talked, he asked about pets. And I, you know, he told me about his cat and how he and his wife don't have kids. They have this cat and my husband and I don't have kids. And so we started talking about the tortoises. And then that turned into, oh my gosh, we're turtle people. And we went to the Caymans and we went and swam with the sea turtles. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, we went to the Keys and we went to the, you know, sea turtle hospital. And this silly little conversation about turtles made that connection where I'm like, I, I like this guy. I like this guy. Uh, I want to know more about what he does. I want to know, you know, more about why he does what he does. Now I can tell you all kinds of things. Every time I met with him, we just talked for forever. We're both talkers. And I can tell you all kinds of things about him. But it began with that one silly little fun fact about turtles. And, um, and, and as you know, I know that sounds like this little incidental thing, but sometimes that's the tipping point. Sometimes it's that I like this guy. He's a turtle person too, um, is, is what makes the difference between this guy who's totally qualified and this guy who's totally qualified. Ultimately, I'm going to go with the one I like better. And how do I know I like you better? I got to know something about you. If you are sh sharing the same photo of a train condenser in the backyard, I don't know anything about you except you sell train. And so does hundreds, hundreds of other HVAC pros in the area. I can get the exact same financing. I can get the exact same system. I can get the exact same whatever contract or warranty from hundreds of other businesses in town. So give me something different. Show me something about the character of the people who work for you. Tell me a little bit about how you treat and how you um appreciate and show your your team you appreciate them um tell me a little bit about their families their kids their pets M 
show me where that check that I'm going to write, like anybody still writes a check. I'm sure my mother does. I don't. Anyway, you know, where that credit card that I'm going to swipe is going to, who's that, who's that going to, you know, who is that helping? Because with most businesses, yes, it's a company, but it's also um, T-ball for little Matthew. And so tell me a little bit about, you know, the T-ball team that y'all sponsor. I want to know that. I do. I care. I care about those things. And I care about businesses that care about other things. Only I can't know that if you're not sharing it. And so if you are getting zero interaction on your social media accounts, it's probably because you're not giving people much to interact with. As I was going through, you know, several different business pages, what I saw was no interaction, no interaction, no interaction, no interaction, personal post interaction. That's what I saw. Whenever it was about a team member, an event, a guy in a truck, that got interaction. Just words on the screen. Not so much, not so much, unless there was a question posed and somebody answered it. And so um, when you are using social media, do not forget that it is social. Do not forget that people buy from people. Do not forget that the reason you're using these platforms is to connect. Give people something to connect with. Tell them a story. Uh, give them a case study. Talk about um, when Mrs. What's It called us. Here's the, the problem she'd had. Here's what she tried. And here's what happened with us. Give them something to connect with. And, you know, sh share a photo of the guy who saved the day wearing your uniform. That makes a difference. People buy from people. So, hope that's helpful to someone. Um, I am still super duper excited about talking with my HVAC companies, both locally and nationwide. I have experience in the industry. I speak HVAC and I am looking for a new HVAC client where I can create content, monitor it for them, help them build a community, run some ads, and let's sell some systems this summer. How about it? So if you know somebody I can help, please let them know where I am or let me know where they are. Thanks so much, and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.